In this lesson, we will start CAM project. Expand the menu and select CAM workspace. And from the setup menu, select new setup or just click new setup button on the toolbar. This option allows us to define machining properties such as the origin of the coordinate system, stock or tooling. In the right part of the Fusion 360 window, a window will appear. The window has three tabs, Setup, Stock and Post Process. Now we will focus on the Setup tab. In the first Setup section we can choose the type of machining, milling, turning or cutting. Of course, we have to choose milling. The next section is the Work Coordinate System. In this section we define the origin and location of the coordinate system that will correspond to our origin of the coordinate system defined on the CNC machine. The rule is to make the Z-axis moving away from the machining plane. If, as an example, we choose a 3-axis milling machine, we fix the workpiece in a vise, the Z-axis should be directed towards the spindle. An interesting thing is that, in CAM systems, with which I have met so far, the X, Y, Z axes are marked in sequence with the colors red, green and blue, and RGB is one of the color space folder. By default, the model orientation option is selected. There are several points on the model in which we can place the origin of the coordinate system. At the moment, we can use this point and set the origin for x, y in the middle of the stock and for z on the top. In order to be able to choose points based on the stock, the option stock box point must be selected for the origin parameter. And now we can indicate one of the 27 available points. In the case of simple part, where the stock is rectangular solid, this choice should be enough. The next section is model, where we select the model that will be machined in this setup. As we have loaded one model, it has been selected by default. The fixture section is responsible for the indication of the tooling, for example wise. For now, we will omit this. The next tab in the setup settings is the stock tab. In this tab we can define the stock. There are several options for defining a stock, but now we choose the relative size box option for mode parameter. This option will create a cuboid shape that is larger than the model by specific allowance. For the stock offset mode, select add stock to sides and bottom option. This option will add a symmetrical allowance for side and additional allowance for top and bottom of the stock. Add the 3mm allowance for side, 2mm on top and 10mm for bottom. Ok, the last tab is post process. Here we can specify the number or name of the program and add a comment to the program. For program name, type first. OK. Click OK button and we have the defined origin of the coordinate system, 